name is Elizabeth Hubbard. I am an orthopedic surgeon at the Shriners Hospital and also at the University of Kentucky with the orthopedic department. So I do a little bit of everything. Um, I do um, scoliosis surgery in children who have idiopathic scoliosis, meaning we don't know why that they have it. And most commonly that's in girls and boys uh, who are you know, age 10 to 16, 17. Uh, but also there's you know, different types of scoliosis that kind of affect kids of all ages, and so I kind of treat the gamut of that. Um, also cover a lot of pediatric trauma. One particular interest that I have, and one of the reasons that they were interested in having me join the team here is I really like limb deformity. So what that means is children who have one limb that is either at an angle that's not really normal or a limb that's shorter than the other, specifically lower extremity, uh, is my interest. And so for those patients, you can sometimes do small surgeries to help straighten things out, or sometimes you need to do little bigger surgeries like with external fixators. And um, for limb lengthening surgeries, there's other options now like intramedullary lengthening with, uh, with nails and magnet devices. And so that was one of my interests that kind of brought me here. So I spend about 20% of my time theoretically at the University of Kentucky and 80% at the Shriners Hospital. At the University of Kentucky, I mainly cover trauma, but that also entails kind of other emerging conditions like something that uh, I've seen a few times is kids coming in with infections that either need surgical management or just observation, and so that makes up a percentage of my kids at the University of Kentucky. But most of the time it's fractures of upper or lower extremities. Whereas at the Shriners Hospital, it can be anything. We can have some kids with fractures come through the door, but very commonly it's other things like scoliosis, it's limb length discrepancy, unusual walking, um, and then children who, have, who we know have some more chronic conditions like uh, myelomeningocele or cerebral palsy. I, I love working with kids. Um, you kind of see these kids come in and they have some what look like very impressive changes either on x-rays or just in overall structures for upper or lower extremities and they just seem to be able to figure out how to do everything that they want to do without needing a whole lot of help from other people and so it, they're a lot of fun to work with um, just I, it makes me want to get up every day and take care of more kids. Thank you.